Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Tales of Arise. I have uh, not really leveled up at all, we're just going to kind of wing it. And continue to explore. Hello. I wonder if we can... Ooh. Red Sage, plus 100 hit points? Hmm. Mm, Kis Kisara? Use this. I guess. I won't forget Archer you. There we go. Blow them away. That thing did. Resonate with the earth. Okay. Delight mine. I'm ready. Ooh. Give me that apple place. I feel. This thing is getting Blow them away. God, I think I'm impressed you massacred. managed to keep up. Don't patronize me. Everyone okay? What's this Hello? place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm. I don't know about that. Is this the way forward? Out of my way! Oh god, I hate these things. Dodge, buddy. Dodge. They got me free! Sounds like a job for you, truly. Anything in armor is all mine. An astro art? That's my cue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doing this. Eat this! Going in! With precision like that, I'm glad you're not on the other side. Likewise for you and that here. Best to stay in one another's good graces. Get toasty! Burn strike! Get toasty, buddy. Right. Next one. Already on. Crescent move! Annihilate! Jesus. Consider yourself finished. All right. <laughs> uh, I Looks think like that was literally something. painless. Oh, some down here to heal. Hello. Be healed, friend. Raging storm beat. Thank you. you. Got a chest. Looks like you may have to run around to get that chest. Let's see what you've got. I shall ensure you survive this. No further. Mega Ray! Annihilate! Are these targeting me? I don't think any of these are targeting me. Crescent Moon! Where are you going? I'm free! The enemy deals are too. You'll soon see about that. Glacier Spear, here you go! Yeah, again, I don't think it. Oh! This one's all mine! Oh, that looks cool! Oh, 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 I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Where are you going? Look sharp. One more. We may get out of this alive after. Yeah, things were looking bad. I'm pretty sure we can handle it. Do it. Shield. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. Give me that eyes. Not by a long shot. I'm on. Back into the fray. Crescent Mega Ray. I'm ready. Oh. 
All right, that one, that one hurt a little more. Really great lately. Oh, hold on. We'll come back for those. I need to keep fighting. It'll be These a guys, it not a fan of. They have no weaknesses. In a bind. Look sharp. Crescent go. Oh, thank you. Here I go. I'm oh, going. Getting Resonate hard with hard the earth. Uh, Shion is I near death. He's been snaring to me. Yeah. And the bubbling to me. Jesus. Out of nowhere. One more. The last one. This one's mine. Look sharp. Will this help? That's it. No chance. How's that? Oh, there was a there was a combo available. Shit. Yeah, these things, man. This one's got your name on it. Oh, hate these berserker guys. I need to be stronger. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We still got that both. Well, boost, whatever. Out of my way! Try and keep this dude just broke. There we go. All right. We just got the Berserker out of here. Oh, you prick. You're stronger than any Renan soldier I've ever met. They don't just let anybody have a place in the Royal Guard. Indeed, so I think. Ah! I was pressing the button! Yeah, he definitely does say, I'll stop your life. Wow. Whoa. Doalim, Dark Sorcerer. Alright, more AG. I'll take it. Um, Air Pressure. An intermediate earth art that crushes the area surrounding the enemy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that would be great through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Reduce art casting time during combos. The are coming along quite nicely. Coming along? What do you want to do with them? Oh, you know. Sprout flowers from the tip of my staff. Suspended in midair. So you want to be a street magician then? I felt better, that's for sure. Okay. Alright, well, let's equip the, uh, the thingy. Maybe, let me switch over to Dolim, because now he has two Earth Arts, and a lot of things throughout here are weak to, um, Earth. 
I guess I should probably equip it too. All right, like, so we got some stalagmites, and then we can put heal on this. Lionheart on that. So then this can be air pressure. Okay. Under pressure. Okay. I won't forgive you. Bathed in blood, rending you apart. A new melody. Can you take it? Whoa! What the? I'll crush you. Air pressure. I'm on. Radiant. They come. Damn, that's cool. Radiant. If I do. Wow. I knew we could count on you. As we all count on your courage. Aw, shucks. I mean, you're welcome. So that's how a lord fights. I don't perform as well when I'm absurd. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that. Elusive Deity! Oh, thank you! Hear me! Flame of Fury! Resonate with the Earth! Sorry, Sorry, Oh, that was so close. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Okay, so we can go. Okay, let me just, I guess, go up here. See what this is. Or is this the way forward? This may be the way forward. Yeah, this is probably the way forward. I mean, I mean we're here, so I might as well walk through it. At least we got a fast travel point, Get some. Out of our way. I'm just gonna be back here, hitting people with air pressure. Air pressure. can you take care of them? Thing is dead. Still that please? Air pressure. In a bind. Reload. Why why'd I do that? Why did I do this? I wasn't there anybody. Then let's keep pressing the attack. Indeed. But remain ever vigilant. All right, bird. 
On your There are friends left in Ow, 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 ow. Jesus. Here, let me help. First aid, ready. Elusive deity. Tornado go. Here's a healing art. Resonate with the Come on, friends. Kill these things. Take this. Deny. Can you take it? I never miss. You got that more breath with that. Form of your last attack. Detail shot. You're going pretty hard in this battle. I am not usually given to restraint. Sometimes I believe you're stronger than you let on. Not in your dreams. Quiver breath. All finish you. Jesus, that fights are forever. I felt like my team wasn't hitting anything. I feel sprightlier than before. Lever! Oh, that's a big fall. Oh, this actually goes somewhere else. Still oh. thinking about how to act around. I thought it'd be like another cave or something. That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade. The same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking, what am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops, sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it... Jesus. What do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does, which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Uh, certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't <laughs> think... <laughs> that said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, Please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Okay. Oh, another hmm. thing. Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? What? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. That's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it. Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns Sorry, me what? greatly. What do you want us to do? Sir? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. 
Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up. I wasn't that offended by what you said, man. Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Jeez. Alright. Good etiquette, huh? Maybe the mountain pass isn't the wrong way. This is actually a story cutscene. Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. <laughs> and that's final. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... Jeez. Oh shit, that dude. Been looking for you. For me, why? you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the... What? That is all I desire. Then why oh, are we we're, fighting? we're fighting this man. Who even are you? Take this. I'm on, begin. Oh, Jesus. Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? Take this! That freaking jump oh, in! Resonate with the earth! Select mine! Here's a healing arc! First aid! Really Take this! Run. Look sharp! Dragon shell! Instinct shot! Nothing gets by me! Luna, who's <laughs> open? Ha! Here it goes! Brilliant! Tectonic Oh, my God. On guard! Take this. I'll face you. Look sharp. Take this. I'm uh, going in. Uh, uh, on your knees. Here. What? Huh. I'm on it. I'll smash you. Luna corruption. Can't get out of this. Begin. He got out of it. He got out of it. Elusive deity. Crescent moon. I'm on it. Pierce of blade. Oh my goodness. Dude, this man has infinite health. Searing flame. Go away. Take this. I'll kill you all. Jesus. Okay. Uh. 
This is uh, nope. Back up. Back. Back. Here, let me No rest for the So much for sitting this fight out. Even blocking this dude is doing a ton of damage. Nope. Wrong one. Jesus. I don't think we're supposed to meet this guy. I can't kill you forever. And just like that, I'm back in. Start by holding the front line. Fault. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> God. Jesus. What the Is that all that you've got? Very well. Then die. <laughs> did he... Or did she just shoot his eye out? No. No, his eye's fine. But he did get... <laughs> Like you, Alfred! oh, she <laughs> Wake up, please. Alfin. Shion. Thanks. Oh, it's it... kind of crushing me. No. Sorry. He he hit her master it's core. Okay. Right? And so am I. <laughs> Maybe. Cause that looked like he just impaled her. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's, Shion. We thought I'm you were. I'm fine, really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I, I didn't... <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Oh.
Elfin? Sorry. I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Okay. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me. But I'm fine. Really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and Astral Arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Niaz, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> huh. Hey. Mm. There's, there's some shit that happened there. <laughs> um... Law is near death. So that's the second time we've seen the blue light from him. Hold on, I wonder if there's a fast travel point here. Oh, there it is, okay. And then of course we have the, you know, secret swordsmen, don't know them yet. Probably tied to his past somehow. And like the only people that have blue lights are the Renans, so. Like, she, or Alphan has to be a Renan, right? How are you holding up after that last fight? You're not too hurt, are you? I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses, too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, <laughs> I can't feel pain, but you still can, can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Just fucking kiss already. Good Jesus. <sighs> so will they, won't they? Alright, let's see what's in here. Then I think we should go down the mountain path, because... Clearly, that's not the way forward. Let's dispose of the trash. trash. Come and face me. Where are you going? <laughs> On your knees. Glacial spear. Here's the evil. Air pressure. Got flyers. Blade, I've got Damn. it. Let a mark him handle it. The enemy wields arts too. All yours. You'll soon see ah, why did I do that? I wasn't close enough. Far enough. On your knees. So that's how a lord fights. I don't perform as well when I'm a sir. I'm going to pretend I didn't use oh, I keep forgetting the equipment for their arts. On your knees. Into the shadows. Their arts were interrupted. 
Can you take it? <laughs> Where are you going? You've got pretty impressive aim there. Uh, right it's time to finish this. Die! Consuming wildfire! Lightning! Begin! You're not! Elusive Next deity! Away. Watch it! I'll thank you! Tornado drive! Annihilation. Resonate Hear with me. the earth! Don't be right. Take these stalagmites! Ready! Another incantation ruined! Ow, ow. Take this! Let the marksman handle this. Begin. I'm all stopped up. Take this. On guard. There we go. My concentration is dwindling. Perhaps I'm tired. Oh, we can't even get this person. Uh, okay. Guess I'll use an orange gel. Okay. Thank you for the type of stone. And now we can go... Wrong menu? We can go up here. Let's see what the heck's up with this mountain pass. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what's up with this place. Some side dungeon? What's that big tower over there? Also, I keep forgetting about the arts. Bloody howling. Folks, an ominous howl. Okay. Definitely some side dungeon with some kind of like, probably insane boss. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Oh. Wow, you actually do eat horses. All right. Flashbang shield enhances healing. Feline passion, that's neat. Ah, uh, yes. All we need is the groper. Okay. And then all we need here is the gale wing. And then winged claws. Which look pretty cool. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's sell anything we got. There we go. Have you guys checked your equipment? If you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, okay. Drenched in sweat. No, Halim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, He's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? 
I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow. Thanks, Kisara. Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything mm. I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renan and especially as a lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both Renans and Danans alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? The truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's cook. For what do we even? What do we even? Mm. Mm, elemental defense. Consume double. Consume double. All done. Come and eat. That's your 12th serving. Damn, that's gotta be a record. Even seeing it for myself, I can hardly believe it. Where is her body storing it all? Oh, have you guys already had enough? Did you not like what I fixed? No, it's just... We're just amazed at how much you can wolf down. Doesn't it hurt even a little? Aren't you feeling heartburn or something? Oh, this is nothing. You know what they say? You always have more room for dinner. I'm pretty sure that's what do, they say about they? dessert, actually. Plus, this is Noki we're talking about. That stuff just sits in your stomach. I swear, I'll never understand you Renans. Hmm. All right. Mind if I join you, Law? Law, what's going hmm? on? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> That definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'll take guard duty tonight. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that scene was rough. You guys ready not, to hit not the that road? One. Just saying, like, I know I am. When, when Zephyr died. Not this way, I guess. 
Uh. Not this way, I guess. Wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold on. Not this way, I guess. Huh. Okay, maybe we can't do that then. All right. Well, uh, we have the fast travel point, I guess. Uh, we finally made it. Hmm, maybe someone builds a bridge over there or something? Wait, are we already in like the capital of the next place? Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. Is that a rebellion? It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Oh. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. I mean, yeah, we did it. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? Some went down here. Looks like we missed the party. All of these ruins look like they were made pretty recently. But if that's the case, then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. Even if the Danans rebelled and managed to overthrow the Renans here, there should still be some people around. This debris. Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps. But the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform, which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Rinwell. That story you told us about the Dark Wings, it said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. Okay. Joe Halim, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you Probably mean? Probably not the time to talk about of. this. <laughs> ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh yes, I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit, this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. 
How to I'm comb sorry, your what? hair is equally important, and learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. Wh what is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all. What? I thought that was an okay request. When the owl sheds their feathers, it's like, I'd, I'd like to make a pillow. I don't know, better than just the owl feathers going to waste. That doesn't seem like a crazy request to me. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you? Woohoo! Woohoo! Hoo -hoo. Oh, there you are! A Hoo -hoo. red rose. Look, Hoodle! One of your buddies! Farewell. out in the valley windmills they're huge they're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy so they have to be big ah okay yeah all right there's a few of them around Single soul in sight. Wait. Don't move. They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? You first. Show yourself. I'm the one asking the questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. Uh. What are you? My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the Blazing Sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Yeah, there it is. Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfong of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Dan right, leader then. here in Niaz? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <sighs> you do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadheim. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. 
Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> right, there's another I guess even Renin after here. you beat the Renins, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. Hello, soldier. See what the heck came or went on here. So you're there has to be more to it. Are you? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Okay. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. Hmm. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then... Mouth, witch, that's enough! If you're really I fighting for us Danans, good time why here. keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Oh. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. <gasps> Is that what we are? Friends? Renans friends? are Renans. They're the scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you know that. Maybe it's because you and that little lady are friends and more. <gasps> Son of a You'll pay for that. That's enough. Dead on. You know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm. And don't ever come back. This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here, and I make the rules. I do, Deadeye, leader of the Dark Way! Yes! Deadeye! Liberator Deadeye! You are the true leader of this realm. We're not afraid of any bright eyes. It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! If you have to keep shouting, shouting you're the leader, typically it means... Hmm. Uh, I really though. Hey, wait up. Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. 
You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. Hmm. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon, Dead Eye mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Dead Eye. This isn't Dead Eye's war. And we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renans as well? Oh, believe me, I've got my bone to pick with the Renans. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. Hmm, <laughs> she's like, shit. Let's head maybe, on over to that Maybe lodge. I can learn a thing. <laughs> we'll figure out what our next move is there. Because she hates them just because they're Renans, not because of who they are. Oh, there's the people. They're, they're, they're waiting for us to be introduced to, to hey, Deadheim. <laughs> if we find anyone who needs help here. I know. We'll make sure to ask what's wrong. All right, uh, that's probably gonna do it for this episode. I may actually go through. Oh, hold on, we have a skit. <laughs> I get the feeling Dead I'm signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything. They may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is, when you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me, or for you. <sighs> oh, okay. Another skit? I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful, and because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadheim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. 
Zephyr did things differently, top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling. But at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Deadeye Man and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm mm -hmm. content knowing that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danons with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves and outright forbade the ownership of instruments is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I do still need to do a lot of side quests, and they're not very interesting, so I don't know, maybe I'll just do a couple here before the next episode? Or maybe I'll hold off. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll probably try to do these off screen because they're, they're not that interesting. But in any case, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.